Hey guys, so this is the start of getting my life together. Currently in the office, which is a mess, which you guys would have seen in the last video. I do have a plan in order or a plan in mind of how I want to do things. So the first thing that I want to tackle in this room is the clothes. It's all clean clothes. It just needs to be folded and put away, which I hate doing, but that's what I want to tackle first. So as you guys can see, it's all like laundry. It's just needs to be folded and put away. So at one point in time, this is where I filmed so many viral videos. I really need to get back to that point. Clothes, that's what needs to be dealt with. That's what I'm going to start with. Um, that will really lighten up the room because as you can see, when I step back, it takes up most of the room. Um, and then the second thing I want to work on is PR. All of the products that I get from different companies, it's like everywhere. It's everywhere in this room. It's everywhere. All of those cabinets um, in this closet at the bottom, like it's everywhere. So. You got some more there, there. Um, that's the second thing that takes up so much space in this room. And then the last thing I want to do is this section right here. This is a vanity that I used to do my makeup at, but of course I can't do makeup at it because it's it just holds storage. <laughs> so I actually want to take this vanity out and put it into my bedroom and that's going to be the second place that I will film videos putting it right up against a window so I can get some natural lighting I'm just going to put it right here in front of this lovely window so I'm excited to film this I'm excited to jump in and get this over with it's been on my mind for like a good year um, I really need to get this place back in order. So stick around if you want to see how I get this, how I transform this place into a, I guess, YouTube studio or whatever, work studio, workspace. so it is the next day i got a good bit done but there's still so much to do um so i'm going to show you guys what i've done so far and how the room is looking um, i'm not sure if i'm going to keep my desk here just yet i'm thinking i may move it into the center of the room i had it there maybe two years ago 
I'm always moving things around. It's been all, this desk has been moved so many times. It's been against this wall right here. It's been against the window. It's been, been underneath the map. It's been everywhere. Um, but anyways, let me show you guys what I've done so far. Everything else that's in here is all like PR stuff and shoes. Um, I did order a over the door shoe rack. Um, I don't know how I'm gonna feel about that once it's actually up. Um, that's why I probably am going to move my desk so that way a shoe rack isn't in my background. All right, so let me show you guys what it's looking like so far. So when you walk in, of course, room isn't done yet, but that's where my desk is. Of course, if I'm filming here, that would be my background, which I don't like. So I'm thinking to put the desk here, kind of in the center of the room. It's such a hard room to film because it's not a huge room. Um, but yeah, the desk would go where this carpet is pretty much and the map would be my background. So let's see if I can kind of see how that would be. So it would be like this. That would be my background. But I think I'm a little bit too close to the map because I want the map to be a little bit blurred out. So i probably sit maybe somewhere here. And that would be my background, which isn't too bad. But then this wall is empty. That's in front of me. Yeah, this wall would be empty and I would be looking at a blank wall. I don't know what would go here. I could probably do that cubby system that I was thinking about doing. Instead of doing an eight piece, I can do a six piece, maybe. I gotta measure it out and see what that looks like. And then my mirror could possibly go back in this corner because it's staying here. It's not bad, but on this wall right here, so hard to film this. This wall right here beside the closet, I'm thinking to do a gallery wall. So I'm gonna get some shelves, either buy shelves or get like um, some wood from Home Depot, Home Depot painted and then um, nail it to the wall. We'll see. But this is supposed to be a photo wall. We'll see how that works out. I do have my YouTube plaque and some other little things that need to be put up. Then I have these two massive Christmas photos that pretty much come down when it's Christmas, but then I have one that I can't put up because that one has the three of us, an old family photo that I can no longer put up. So it's like, what do I do with that? I don't want to rip it up. I probably will just fold it up and I don't even know what to do with it. Cause it's not even like he can have it because it has a picture of the three of us. I don't know. It's just going to stay in that frame until I can figure out what to do with it. I don't want to, uh, I don't know. Is that weird? Like, I don't want to, like, there's no bad blood. So I don't want to chop up a really nice photo, but I also don't want the photo. So it's like, what do I do with this photo? Uh, and it's not like it's small enough that I can give it to Amari and you can have it in like a little photo album. It's a massive photo. Um, anyway, so there's that closet needs organizing and the door needs fixing. It's really, really wonky right now. It fell off the, the thread. It's an old school door. So it, it sits on this rack. I mean track, but right now it's off. So I gotta deal with that. And then in there again, PR stuff and clothes. So anyways, I went to Dollar Tree. And I got myself some storage containers um, just to kind of see how I feel, not storage, organizers, just to see how I feel about them being in one of these drawers. So let me show you guys my idea. So we have this really long one here. I'm thinking to do makeup in the top half. And then once we get down to the bigger sections, that would be like shampoo, deep conditioners, moisturizers, leave-ins, and like stylers, something like that. But up top would be, you know, makeup. So like eyes, face, I don't know. I don't wear a whole lot of makeup, so I don't need um, to go like eyes, lips, lashes, eyebrows, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but right now, so you guys can see, it's just a mess. So it's like a bonnet is in here. You got some hair products in the corner. You've got some foundations, 
some BB creams, more foundations. It's just a, me a mess. You got a necklace in here, lashes. Like it's not organized at all. At all, there's lipsticks. So that's why I got these little clear containers to, and these were from the Dollar Tree, they were 150. I only picked up two cause I wasn't sure what the price was be, what the price was gonna be. Especially them being pretty thick. They're like really sturdy. They're not flimsy at all. I was thinking they were going to be like five bucks. Because if I got this at a dollar store, Dollarama, it would have been like five dollars. So I'm like, you know what? Let me just get two just in case this ends up being ten bucks for two things. Let's see how we can organize this. I really do need to go through all of these drawers. Most of it is hair stuff. For the most part. There's some nails there. But like most of it is hair. really needs to be organized it's yeah if it was organized better like so much more could fit i think this is office stuff hey guys so it is a few days later i've done a good bit in the office i think i'm happy with the setup of the office it's not done it still needs some organizing and i still need a few things to add in here but i did get my shoe rack i think i mentioned that in the last vlog um i got a shoe rack because i have so many shoes that don't fit on the rack that's downstairs so i got one for behind the door which i think is a great place for it and now that my office is being set up in a different way i don't have to worry about this being in the background the shoe rack being in the background so yeah so i'll just show you guys what i got i got this one from walmart so it looks like that so now you guys can see my desk is in front of the map and i'll be filming in that direction if that makes sense. So I would literally be sitting at my desk and filming this way. Of course, it doesn't look really good. It doesn't look good with this camera and I have no lights on, um, but you guys will see it. I was messing around with it over the weekend. Um, but yeah, let me show you how the office is looking so far. I just need to fix this camera. So um, all of this stuff is going to be put away. It's PR stuff and paper that need to be shredded. Um, so when you walk in, this will be the setup. I have a light here, light here. Won't be using this overhead light when I'm filming. Tripod is right here. Um, excuse the shoe box, let me just move it. Oh gosh, it's heavy. Over there is PR stuff again. And then the shoes are in that basket, which are gonna go onto the rack. This is the background currently. Um, again, PR stuff in the back. So a lot of stuff is gonna be gone. When I'm done, it's just taking me a lot of time. My gallery wall will be over there. I just don't know how it's gonna look just yet and what shelves I'm gonna use yet. Closet still needs to be organized. So back here, I plan to put that cubby system in. I saw it at Ikea. I don't know if I want the eight cubby hole or if I want the six. Um, the more the better because I get so much PR stuff and it would be good to kind of just put all that stuff in that cubby. Um, thing and have it organized like shampoos blah, blah 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 makeup skincare stuff all organized that way um it's not just all over the room and not organized so we'll see i'll keep you guys posted with that so that's what it looks like from this side when you walk in um like i said i don't care about how it looks when i walk in it's all about how it looks on camera when i'm actually right here filming that's the only thing I care about. I just want it to be neat, organized, and look good when I'm filming. Um, of course, the average person would not have a room set up like this where their desk is in the middle of the room and there's lights and things set up, but it's not a regular room. So let's go ahead and get started with building this shoe rack. It's gonna go behind this door like that. And then this was a clothing rack. When the closet is organized that's gonna go back in there because i don't think i'm gonna use this for any upcoming videos and where did i get this i got this on amazon i think many many no wayfair i believe it was wayfair <laughs>
rack actually holds 32, I think it says, 32 pairs of shoes. I've almost finished filling it. As you can see at the top, I have some shoes missing <laughs> just because they're downstairs. Because sometimes I run upstairs to see how one foot looks with an outfit and I don't bring the other foot up. Anyway, so that's why it looks like that. Um, the rest of the shoes are downstairs, so I gotta get them. So all the shoes that were out here in the office, that's what's on the rack right now. I do have some in the closet that I need to go through. I do think I have some shoes on here that I actually need to get rid of. For example, this, this, and maybe even this, because I don't wear them and I don't plan to wear them. Um, some of them are too small, because after I had Amari, I kind of went up half a size, so some shoes don't fit. But yeah, so far I like it. And the reason why it's not centered is because this door is so close to the wall. So when I do open it, it hits the wall. So not leaving me with a whole lot of room to get in and out of this office. But again, I'm not really focused on what it looks like in my eyes because no one else is seeing this besides me. Um, so I'm gonna try not to let it bother me even though it's bothering me. I'm gonna go ahead and see what shoes I have in the closet because that's another place that has a ton of shoes that I don't even remember what's in there because it's been so long that they've been hidden from me. And yeah, so now this needs a place to go. For now, I'm just gonna leave it behind the door. And then in here is all of like my hair tools, all of my hair extensions some blazers yeah all my hair tools filming equipment is up there hair tools pr packages at the bottom and then in the corner is more shoes that's that i'm going to go through this closet quickly um, and see what i can do hey guys so it's been a while since i spoke to you guys i am currently in the office is it done not quite but it's it's workable i can work with it Anyways, I'm going to show you guys what it finally looks like. Um, it's about 80% done. Excuse this annoying light in this room. The bulb is, it's dying. Um, I definitely need to order some bulbs. I think I got it from Amazon. I don't know, but it's dying. Let me show you. Yeah, it's up there and it just keeps flickering. Yeah, so I need to deal with that. Maybe I'll just turn it off. But I want to show you guys what the room looks like. And without the light, oh, it's so annoying. Anyways, office is about 80% done. There is just, honestly, just PR stuff to deal with. And it's just so much of it. And it takes time to organize everything because it's makeup, hair products, skincare stuff. Ah, I just don't have the patience to deal with it right now. My main focus was, can I come in here and film? Can I sit down in here and edit? Is the desk clean? Is the floor clean? Yada yada, and the answer to all those questions is yes. So I can do all those things, great. We can deal with the other little things later, but I want to be able to come in here, get things done, and I can do that. So as you guys probably have seen, I have posted quite a few videos since I've organized this office, and that's what I wanted. I wanted to be able to get back into the flow of things. So let me show you guys what the room is looking like now. All right, so this is what you see when you walk into this room. As soon as you walk in, you see my camera is set up, my lights are set up, and these things do not move. So when I get in here, I can sit down and just film. Turn on my two lights, turn on my camera and film. I don't have to do anything extra, which is great. So I have an extra tripod sitting in the corner and then excuse what's hiding behind the curtain those are the christmas photos i did decide that i will get rid of um the one, the one with three of us i just haven't done so yet but i will get rid of it because i no longer need it so yeah that's what you see when you walk in and when we turn this way this is what you guys see when i am filming you guys pretty much see minus this light here this is what you guys see so as you guys heard, I can come in here and film without having to move things around and like feel overwhelmed because the place is a disaster. So it's, it's clean. My desk is clean. Excuse this, I was using it to clean my lens. But the desk is organized. It's just literally my notebook to 
organize my thoughts, some filming equipment like a remote, memory cards. Anyways, it's just filming stuff in the corner there. Um, and then when we come over here, this is just mis miscellaneous things. It's not organized up top here, but it's just jewelry, lipstick, um, and some watches. It's not organized, so excuse that. But again, the room looks way better than it did when I first started in here. It was really bad in here. And then I did finish putting most of my shoes. There are some that need to go on this organizer still. All right, we'll just use these lights for now. Okay, so in these drawers, everything is organized. It's just not neat. So this first drawer here is just extra lashes and nails. As you can see, that's literally what it is. Lashes and nails. And then this drawer is all my nail stuff. Yeah, literally, look at all this, press-ons. So I don't know if you guys remember, I went to that Kiss event and they gave us, they were like, oh, take as much as you want. So I did just that. <laughs> so anyways, um, excuse my nails too. Oh my gosh, I've been trying to get the shellac, shellac to come off. Next drawer, miscellaneous things. My three-way mirror, hat from a PR package. Yeah, it's just, just random things I threw in here. Um, next drawer, this is all my makeup that I got from PR packages that I don't want to give away, that I want to test out, that I want to try out on myself. Um, yeah, none of this stuff has been used. Yeah, all this stuff is brand new that I want to mess around with. Um, next one, it's all jewelry. Below that is all skincare stuff, minus the shampoo, but it's all skincare stuff that again, I got from Pure Packages that I want to mess with. Um, this is all shampoo, conditioners, and deep conditioners. Next one is leave-ins, moisturizers, and curling creams. And down here is stylers, so like oils, mousse, gels. Uh, yeah, down there. So everything is organized. The shirt doesn't close because there's some a product fell behind and I gotta uh, unscrew the drawer and take it out and I just haven't done that yet, so ignore that. And then over here is our beautiful PR stuff that I haven't got into. Kind of blocked my mirror, but that's okay. I'll get to that soon. Um, so yeah, that's this is the corner that I haven't dealt with. It's just, mm, I just don't want to deal with it right now. So this is the corner that this is the corner that's a mess, and it's in the corner for a reason. Nobody sees it really. When you walk in, you don't really, for the most part, you don't really see it. It doesn't bother me because it's not in view when I'm filming, so it doesn't bother me. Um, over here we have my um, filming equipment, so chargers, batteries, lens. Here is just miscellaneous things. Here is hair accessories. And down here we have like homework for Amari and yeah, just homework stuff for Amari. And then a dead plant. <laughs> Inside my desk is just more filming stuff like pens and erasers, sharpeners, like little things for Amari as well. Sticky notes, notebooks, stuff like that. It's just desk stuff. Um, yeah, and that's pretty much it. This wall is blank. The closet isn't organized, air quotes. So when I open the closet, let me step back. Um, as you guys can see, I have blazers and vests in the corner, um, some extra bags, my some heat styling tools, extra hair for when I do my hair. Um, down here is all PR stuff. Corner is shoes and boots, up top, hot tools and blow dryers in the corner, as you guys can see. Um, some filming equipment up here. And in that bag is a bunch of gift bags. <laughs> yeah. I Whenever Mari gets a gift, I keep the gift bag and I reuse it. That's pretty much it. Like the closet isn't, it's the messiest thing in the room, I would say. But like I know where everything is because it's kind of organized. But yeah, anyways. All right, so this is just a quick overview of the room. 
it's done for the most part. I'm not adding anything else to this. The next time you guys see this room, um, of course the PR will be gone and the art and the closet will be organized. Like that's it. That's all that needs to be done. But for now, this is how it's going to stay until I can deal with all those things. But yeah, this is what you guys see when I film. This is what you see. And with that, I am good. Like I am okay with this. Mind the plant, the plant um, fell over, but I'm good. Like I can come in here and feel like I can do stuff. Versus what it looked like before I organized this place. I could not come in here. You guys saw how bad it was. It was bad. I could hardly walk in here. Um, so I'm happy. I'm satisfied with what's going on in here. The rest will get done when it gets done. Um, the shoes behind the door doesn't bother me. Um, I mean, it's really just I that comes in here. Like I said, Amari does sometimes. Like today, he went in here because I was. I noticed something was wrong with his eye. His eye was red, so he came in here. But like, I don't care. No one comes in here. This door is closed when people do come over. Yeah, and that's it. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this little makeover of the office. When it is done, I will definitely share it with you guys. But for right now, this is what it is. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one.